live in evil times. And St. Paul warns us, do not be drunk with wine. But these days, society is not only drunk with wine, it's intoxicated with drugs, with pornography, with mindless entertainment. We're suffering from, from a lot of brain rot. And more and more, we're, we're running away from reality, sinking into delusion, despair, and disillusion. Most of you have probably seen the mockery of the Last Supper that took place on world stage in the Paris Olympics opening ceremony. It's undeniable that the world is opposed to Jesus Christ, and especially opposed to the Eucharist. What are satanic rituals based on? They're based not on Protestant worship services, they're based on the Catholic Mass. There are people actively stealing the Blessed Sacraments from Mass in order to profane it and to desecrate it, or else to sell it to those who do so. And if any of you are here at this Mass to steal the Blessed Sacrament, let this be your warning. God is holding back his judgment so that you may repent and be saved. But if you do not repent, you will not escape the fires of hell. I've said enough on that. But how do we, as Christians, as children of God, live in these evil days? Dear friends, we will only stand if we stand with Christ. We will only live if we live with Christ. And we will keep our identity only if, our, if we identify ourselves with Him. And the most powerful way we do this is through the Eucharist, through the Blessed Sacrament. Because the Eucharist makes us one flesh with Jesus Christ, a union that is even more intimate and even more tight than the marriage that makes a husband and wife one flesh. Our Lord says, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in them. And note, dear friends, that what our Lord is offering is not just some spiritual reality or some, some neat symbolism. In the original Greek, our Lord uses the word pro which means gnaw, crunch, or chew. Whoever gnaws, crunches, and chews my flesh, he has eternal life. And so our Lord is emphasizing that this is a real and physical action that he is inviting us to do. And even when the people are disputing among themselves, he doubles down. He doesn't give an inch. But he repeats himself over and over again. But where do we eat his flesh? Where do we drink his blood? At the sacrifice of the Mass, where we hear, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body. Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is my blood. The Sunday Eucharist is so important, my brothers and sisters. Because unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink His blood, you have no life in you. You have no life in you. Since the time of the Apostles, the Eucharist has been the most important thing for Christians. Even more important than the sacred scriptures. Because it came before the scriptures. It formed the scriptures. It's the most important thing because it gives us our identity. It makes us Christian. It puts us into a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. <coughs> I want to share an example of how the Eucharist strengthens us against the attacks of the world. During the Iraq War, there was a lot of violence against Christians. And while churches were being bombed and priests being kidnapped, Iraqi priest Father Raghid Ghani declared, the terrorists might think they can kill our bodies or our 
our spirit by frightening us. But on Sundays, churches are full. They may try to take our life, but the Eucharist gives us back. And he continues, there are days when I feel frail and full of fear. But when holding the Eucharist, I say, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. I feel his strength in me. When I hold the host in my hands, it is really he who is holding me and all of us, challenging the terrorists and keeping us united in his boundless love. One night, Islamic terrorists stopped his car and ordered everyone out. And one of them shouted at him, I told you close the church. Why didn't you do it? Why are you still here? And Father Rahi responded, How can I close the house of God? And then he was shot to death. He gave his life for the Eucharist, the Eucharist that he lived for, the Eucharist that he was willing to die for. Brothers and sisters, we might not be up against terrorists, but what we're up against is even more dangerous because it's subtle. Every day we are surrounded by ideas and opinions that are challenging our faith and challenging our identity as Christians, challenging the truth itself. We are flooded with things that go against our right living, that go against our right belief. In these evil days, let us cling ever more close to Jesus in the Eucharist. Let us abide in the body of Christ, make our home in him, for he has promised the one who eats this bread will live forever.